everyone, my name is A.T. and thank you for joining me today for another deep fried catfish video recipe by Chef Gaison from New Orleans, the private chef of people like Reggie Bush. So, on yesterday I did the deep fried catfish video, but I did not read the directions carefully. On that recipe, instead of me adding white cornmeal, which I've never heard of, I added yellow cornmeal. Now, I emailed him and was like, you know, was it okay if I did that? Honestly, you could do it either way you like, but I want to come back and do this recipe correctly. So today you will definitely see this recipe done the correct way. I'm going to definitely come back and let you guys know, is it the difference between yellow cornmeal and white cornmeal in the taste of my catfish? So if you want to know how to do this the correct way by Chef Besson, stay tuned. Well, thank you for joining me and make sure you check out the other video with the yellow cornmeal. These are the ingredients that you will need for this video. You will need catfish, trout, tilapia, whatever uh, fish you would like to use. You will need buttermilk and two eggs. And to make the cornmeal batter with the white cornmeal, you will need one cup of white cornmeal, one third cup of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of lemon pepper. Definitely that is the key in my opinion. One teaspoon of paprika, one fourth teaspoon of garlic powder. And for frying, you will definitely need peanut oil. Now next, we are going to make the egg wash or egg batter, <laughs> as you would say. So here we're going to add the two eggs along with one fourth cup of buttermilk. Buttermilk is really, really thick. When I saw this milk, I thought it was spoiled. But hey, when it's your first time, you don't know what's going on. I had to make some calls. <laughs> so you're just going to whip that up really, really good until it gets a real nice yellow color. So we're almost done with that. So the uh, cornmeal mix, you could add in a bowl or a plate. Right there, you add all the ingredients in a bag, shake it up really, really good. Get all your ingredients really good and well. I always make mine the night before so all the seasoning can be really good in the plate the next day. And this it is, you can add this in the bowl or the plate. It's depending on how big your fish is. So now add the peanut oil to the fryer. Again, this is my Large Logic Deep Fryer. I am so in love with this pot tonight. It's my second time using it. It's really, really good. So if you guys uh, have cast iron pots that are passed on to you guys, don't let them go. These are like the best pots ever. So now let's batter the fish for frying. So right there I'm going to take the smallest pieces in the uh, batch and I'm going to go ahead and put in the egg wash. And now you're going to apply it to the cornmeal mix. Now we're going to get the other piece and we're going to do the same thing. Now let's just apply the cornmeal batter on top. Again, you can use a bag. You can use whatever you like to make sure all the cornmeal is really good on the fish. It's totally up to you. 
So now let's get ready to get these bad boys in the fryer. So on this video, I just put it on medium. On my yellow cornmeal video, I definitely had it on medium high. So it's totally up to you on how you want to do this. Um, Chef Gaison said definitely just make sure your grease is 350. So now we're like five minutes into the fish and I just want to flip them over. Now my cornmeal video being on medium high, I felt that was too high and my fish really cooked really fast. So I just, on this one is definitely taking its time. So eight minutes later, you take them out. Make sure you have a napkin to apply them on. And everything came out great. Check out the picture to see how it looks. Delicious. So now let's add the second batch in. These are some really big pieces of catfish. So this is the last batch. And it's looking good. Okay, everybody. We are finished with the first batch. I just want to come and show you guys that there is a difference in color. But let's see if there's a difference in taste. Now, if you have a lemon, you could sprinkle some lemon on your fish. I'm going to do it on one fish. And on my other one, I'm going to do it plain because I want to see if there's a difference. So, let's dig in. Let's see. I love tartar sauce with my fish. Love it. Can't do without it. You definitely still don't need seasoning. I know that. Now let's just do this one plain. Now, man, now my opinion, the yellow cornmeal has a stronger taste than the white cornmeal. White cornmeal is just like real light, fluffy. You don't really get that Cajun in it, in my opinion. In my opinion. So let's try it with some more tartar sauce. Can't do it plain. Who does that? Let's do this one more again. Hmm. Cornmeal is just definitely light. It just, it got a real light taste. So if you want that for your deep fried fish, the white cornmeal is definitely for you. But to me, if you want that grandmother's in the kitchen kind of, you know, deep fried catfish, is definitely the yellow. So we're almost done, everybody. Let's wrap this up. Let's get the other batch out. Hmm. So now we're almost done with the fish. So with these, you know, you probably need to go like 8 to 10 minutes. But we're all done. Take a look at the pictures. Nice, light, golden brown. So everyone, I am done. And you know that saying. If you can't stand the heat, get out the kitchen, and I am definitely about to get out this kitchen. But anyway, the food is delicious. The 
still looks great. Like I said, white cornmeal versus yellow cornmeal. Yellow cornmeal definitely has that strong taste. White cornmeal is very light and fluffy. But in my opinion, yellow cornmeal rocks. <laughs> so this is the white cornmeal mixture of Chef Gaison's recipe, which is the proper way. But last night, like I said, I did it with the yellow cornmeal and it was amazing. I mean, like I said, it brought me back to what grandmother used to make. So, at the bottom of the screen on each video, you'll be able to see it with the yellow cornmeal, and you'll be able to see it with the white cornmeal. And after that, you can make your decision on which one you like most. But again, thank you, Chef Gaison, for this great recipe. Again, my cast iron skills are from Lodge Logic. Again, you can check that uh, link out at the bottom of the screen. 